Hey guys, this is DC Shaw or Dina Shaw, and today I'm going to show you my charm updates. And I made these two years ago and recently because I changed my hobby. So, yeah. So, let's get started. I keep my little charms in this little box. Because I haven't made a lot, and then later on I will be having those little um, dividers. So my first one is this little marble I had made in the in two years ago. That's why so many cracks, as you can see, right over here. Dang, that's a lot. And then I have this little cracker I made recently. And I use glazed for some of them. Then I made this little apple which was textured and was um colored on with chalk pastels. To make it look real. Then I have this little Mickey Mouse goodie. And just looks like this. I made in the past. And then I have this goofy one too. Right here. Let's move this to the side. Alrighty. And then I made this little chibi long, long, long time ago. And it looks ugly. Because it has so many cracks. And then it looks like her skin is melting on her shirt. And then you could see I have a little um, flesh on her dress. I did not glaze this one because I don't like it. And if you want any tutorials on these, you could just leave it on the comments below and I'll get to you as soon as possible. And then I made this little Hershey kiss. I did not glaze it because um, it looks better without glazed. Here. All right, and then I have a little penguin I made recently. This one is one of my favorites because I love penguins, and I think I did really well on this one. But and um. It's actually supposed to have the black on the little thing on the white because I just wanted to mix. Then I made this one, this other marble, really long time ago. Oh my gosh. Alright. And then I have this chocolate ball. It's supposed to be a bunny, but then... It broke, so I just broke it on purpose to make it look like a cracked um, chocolate ball. Oh my gosh. Let's put this here. And then I made one of my teachers, which was horrible. It's supposed to be... Oh my gosh. What a day today. Alrighty. So, I textured it from the top with a toothbrush. It's supposed to be mustache, which I made a long time ago, and some of the mustache is dripping off right here. It was supposed to be my art teacher because he knows a lot about polymer clay. He's the one that gave me any <coughs> um, shadow colorings. So after that, I have this little hamster. Let's 
looks like this. Let's focus. Let it focus. Here we go. And then I have this little swirl. Lollipop. And then with going with the chocolate ball, it's supposed to go with this little marshmallow, which is super easy to make. So I may put a tutorial if you guys put it on the comments below. Oh my gosh. Alright. And then with this marshmallow, it goes with it. Which I made recently. And then I made this little panda. As really, um, like, it's really hard for this one to make. Well, it's not hard to make, but, like, I can't put it back together because some polymer clay, um, are not really that good. I would suggest Scopey and Fimo. And then I made this little green swirl. It's also cracked. I made a long time ago. And then I made this little cake. This one I made um, recently. This. It's a little rainbow cake. And then last but not least, I have this um, chocolate sundae float thingy. Um, yeah, an ice cream probably. So it goes with the lollipop right here. So this is all my polymer clay collections. I hope that you guys like them. So I'm just going to put them back in the box and I'm going to show you how it looks like. So here is my box again. And with the top. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will have much more with videos for you guys. And my next one is going to be a jewelry box set. And yeah, thank you guys. Bye.